Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of your program, Infrastructure Weekly. I am your regular uncle, Ajibola Omuchikwa. In this week's episode of the program, we'll, as usual, be taking you round site of ongoing projects all over Nigeria in power, housing and road sector. We will also be taking you on another inspection of the Lagos Ibadan stretch of the Lagos Kano Standard Gauge Rail Line. Join us after this break. Coming together with opportunity. Uh, this is what infrastructure is the backbone of development, which explains the Buhari government's efforts at bridging the facility gap. Infrastructure Weekly is a television package designed to bring you latest information on hundreds of development projects going on in various sectors all over the nation. There is no state in Nigeria today where you will not see our contractors busy at work. Power generation, rural electrification, road rehabilitations, national housing scheme, construction of roads and rail lines across the country, you name it. We are now able to produce 7,000 megawatt of power. That is no longer debatable. Infrastructure Weekly is Nigerians working together for a better Nigeria. So be better informed to take better informed decisions. Watch Infrastructure Weekly, showing on Channels Television, Thursdays 2.30 p.m., NTA Network, Wednesdays 5 p.m., and Co. TV News, Fridays at 8 p.m. Infrastructure Weekly, making development known. Thanks for staying tuned. We begin today from the road sector. The Ikurodu Shagamu Road is a very strategic road that suffered neglect over a period of decades, and this became more pronounced from the period when the nation returned to democratic rule in 1999. Successive governments under Olusha Gnambasanjo, Umaru Yaradwa, and Goodluck Jonathan failed to attend to the road despite effort by representatives of the areas, notably Tune Braimo for Shagamu and Abike Dabiri Erewa for Ikurodu. Hopes were raised when a son of the district, Adeshaye Gunlewe, emerged as the Minister of Works under the Olusha Gnambasanjo presidency, but still the road remained unattended. Earlier in 2018, the Muhammadu Buhari administration approved the award of the road with various changes put in place to ensure the delivery of a world-class project. Now, after a few months of awards of flag off, the crew of Infrastructure Weekly was on hand to check the process of the road being handled by Arab Contractors Limited. The Ikorodu Shagamu Road suffered neglect for years under successive administration following its descent into disrepair after years of overuse and traffic, which were more Ikorodu and original capacity. Successive representatives of both Ikorodu and Shagamu in the National Assembly did all they could to bring attention to the plight of the road users and get government attention to the road. But after 16 years, the prayers of the people of the area, housing large population between Lagos and Ogun State, were answered with the award of the contract for the rehabilitation of the road and its expansion to a dual carriage road. On flag off, Minister of Power, Works and Housing Babatunde Fashala said the government will continue to give roads all over the country the required attention. He also urged the people to protect what has brought development to them. The strategic importance of this road is the support and access it provides to the agrarian communities in Ugu and Lagos State. The present government is very strong on agri and also very strong on industrialization and indeed on energy. And no road, really, very few roads tick all those boxes like this road does. It is strategic for agri, it is strategic for industrial uh, output and employment because of the Odokoyo industrial estate which is the second largest industrial estate in the whole of the sub region of West Africa. With the flag off done earlier, many had thought that it will be business as usual, but thankfully change has indeed come with work ongoing on the project. Controller of Works in Lagos, 
Adedamola Kuti said this is a show of commitment to development which will continue. There is an ongoing project here, that's the rehabilitation of the Kurodu Shagam Road. This road is a very old road, it's an alternative to Lagos Ibadan Express. Now once the, the plan of government is to reconstruct and expand Lagos Ibadan as well as re rehabilitate this particular road. So that at least it serves as an alternative. And uh, those who, because the population is going, growing around this axis, Ikorodu, as you know, is a major division in Lagos. Shagam is another major dis, uh, division in Ogun State. So this road is linking those two major divisions of Lagos and Ogun State. For its part, the project manager of the contracting firm, Munir Hazim, promise to deliver a world-class project that will stand the test of time. Now we are in, we have this road now connecting between two states, uh, Ogun State and Lagos State. Now we are in Ogun State. We, of course now because the road is a big one and we need to uh, have uh, different groups. So we have uh, two groups at uh, Lagos State and we have two groups here at uh, Ogun State. We, uh, we are now present now in Kilo uh, 15. About the middle of the road here in uh, in uh, Ogun State. About the achievement, we we just start after rain season immediately. About uh, middle of August, we achieve about uh, two kilo or one kilo point eight at uh, Lagos State. We have here one kilo point five. Uh, we already we, we whatever we finish we lay it asphalt to protect it immediately is on that the company has put in place four teams to ensure that work is on at all times while asphaltic laying is already being done on some parts of the road is a uh, is supposed to be three years uh take six months this one will uh, we just start now since four months now our, our program to be uh, we made one kilo per month to achieve our uh, our targets and we hope we will do it now we're just starting since uh, three months three months and a half and we really achieve about uh, three kilo point five and you know that we, the starting is hard you know to come and mobilize and mobilize and start a new yard and start uh, bring the equipment it's hard but we achieve thank god we achieve now the our plan according to the time the road and completion is expected to open up the largest industrial estate in West Africa and also help in developing the economy of the Axis while also creating thousands of jobs both directly and indirectly. Still staying with the road sector, the Enugu Onisha Expressway, which has been in a state of disrepair for some years now, is now wearing a new look with the completion of the Humuya section of the road. Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Basini Fashala, was recently in the area to see things for himself and describe the work as a sign of the determination of the federal government to unite all Nigerians and promote commerce and business across the nation. <laughs> Nigeria's Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, says the ongoing 18 km road rehabilitation on the Enugu-bound Section A of enugu Onicha Expressway will be fully asphalted before May 2019. He also revealed that the Omunya bound of the road that leads to Onicha was newly reawarded to the RCC company after different contractors handling the road rehabilitation project decided to abandon the work. Fashla disclosed that the ministry the neglect and swung into action to reaward same contract to another contractor who is currently carrying out some remedial work on that stretch of Enuguanicha Express Road. The minister was inspecting the progress of work done so far on the Omunya section of the Enuguanicha Express Way in Anambra State. He revealed that the contract was reawarded in the second quarter of 2018. Fashola said the road had been reassigned to a contractor who has since carried out remedial work on the Enugu bound of the road project, only to ensure standard is maintained. Uh, the Umuya section, which really the contractor just left, when we came is what we now had to award to another contractor on the side, the RCC, who have done well on their own previous side. So we just extended it. And I think that award was made sometime this year. 
Uh, so they mobilized to site. They came in the heat of the rainy season, and this is very uh, laterite-based soil condition. But we are assured now, they say that we will have the Enugu bound section, 80 kilometers, fully asphalted before the end of the dry season. Also, inspecting the ongoing federal secretariat in Oka, the minister expressed satisfaction on the progress of work on the secretariat. He noted the delay was as a result of late release of 2018 budget, but assured that the issue would be resolved soonest to enable the ministry deliver on its timeline as regards the project. You have seen it. Uh, uh, I think it's first important to reiterate that this is another of our housing projects. So we've been today to two housing projects, one completed, one nearing completion. We've been to a road project, uh, works going on there, and uh, there is a critical section in the uh, uh, Umuya, 18 kilometer uh, section connecting a uh, worker to anything that needs to be finished. That will take, I think, run on to about May next year. Uh, but I think the first thing is to also understand the history of this place. The controller of housing in the state also has this to say on the federal secretariat complex in Oka. This work well, is likely well, to well, We are almost done. The, the job is already 90% completed. So what we needed now is just a very small little touches to get it fully done. One and specifically. His Excellency, I have explained to him our impediment, our problems which he has accepted at the moment he gets to Abuja, everything will be done. Thanks so much for staying tuned to the program. For inquiries, comments and feedback, you can get in touch with us on Facebook, Infrastructure Weekly, and on Twitter, Infra underscore Weekly. Join us after this break. Dear Lottery Operator, you've done a remarkable job so far getting into a business that has been highly criticized for many years you've done well to uphold your credibility and boost confidence in the business kudos to you this is just to remind you of the rules of the game as prescribed by the national lottery regulatory commission gaming is not for persons under 18 underage gaming is prohibited report illegal operators to the commission and also always remember the regulatory job of the commission Whatever your category, lotteries, sport betting, promos, scratch cards, games, it is the duty of the Commission to protect lottery players and the operators as well as promote transparency and accountability. Licensees are also expected to play their part, which includes remittances to the National Lottery Trust Fund. For more information, please go to natlotteryredcom.gov.ng. The National Lottery Regulatory Commission. Lottery the right way. The program is still Infrastructure Weekly. You can get in touch with us on any of the social media handles shown on your screen. We go now to Nicha to the completed Zig Mausoleum, which was being built to honor the nation's first president in Amdi Azikiwe and had been on the drawing board for over 20 years. The project, which was originally initiated after his death in 1996, had stalled under successive administration until the coming of the Muhammadu Buhari administration. Let's take a listen to the visit of the minister to the project site in Onicha. Hidbo leaders commended President Buhari for restoring the hope of people from the southeast to have a world-class mausoleum in remembrance of the frontline pan-Africanist and one of the proponents of the actualization of Nigeria's independence from the colonial masters in 1960. The leaders made this assertion at the Ovala celebration of the traditional ruler of Umeri in Anambra East local government area of Anambra State. The senator representing Anambra Centra, Senator Victor Ume said the president should be commended for this feat. President completed the Zik mausoleum. That mausoleum was started so many years ago and it has been abandoned by successive governments. But the government of Buhari provided money, completed it, and it became a magnificent mausoleum. So we thank the president and commend him. Anytime the president does a good thing, 
we shall commend him. So that mausoleum he completed and uh, uh, commissioned yesterday is a great honor to Zeke of Africa, the first president of Nigeria and the first governor general of Nigeria, a very great Igbo son, the Owele of Onisha. So we thank President Buhari for that. We want him to follow that uh, uh, full step to do more things for us. Enumerating some of the signature projects in the zone in the last three and a half years under the present administration, including the second Niger Bridge and the ongoing Enugu Onisha Road. Thus, leaders say the president should be applauded. The request that the president should move further to accommodate more Indigo into the cabinet and as well as provide suitable political offices for people from the southeastern part of Nigeria. This, they say, we dose the tension of marginalization in the minds of people from the zone. I want you to follow that uh, uh, full step to do more things for us. We are happy that some of our roads are receiving attention. The Enugu Onisha Expressway, let him ensure that he completes that road. We will not forget him if he does so. And anytime he does any good thing, we will applaud him. That's what we want. Let him include Ndibo fully in his administration, in making appointments. I don't want anybody to make joke of some appointments that have been made. But he knows what we are saying. Let him give the Igbos full sense of belonging. We are not against Buhari. If he gives us what we are entitled to, we shall support him, we shall uh, 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 praise him, we shall clap for him. We cannot do more than that. Once we are happy, we will not complain. Number one, our roads, southeast roads now are working. Niger Bridge, work are going on. Zig Mijom Center is going on. So I think uh, it's a good man. Economy is okay. But perception people will be talking how the economy is done. No, 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 no. Let me tell you one, one thing I observe. I say, business, social businessman, in election time, any country that going in election time, their currency will be shaken. But Naira, dollar to Naira is stable. So it's a kudos to him. He could remember 2000, uh, 2015 when we are going to election. You see how Naira was. So it's a good thing. So many things the man have is doing. The leaders further pointed out that Indigo have nothing against the president, promising to support him if he continually provides projects and economic policies that will promote the well-being of people from the southeast region, as well as make his government Igbo friendly in appointments and provision of signature projects. <laughs> Thanks so much for staying tuned. We'll be back after this time out as we hit the home stretch. We will be coming together with opportunity. Uh, this is what infrastructure is the backbone of development, which explains the Buhari government's effort at bridging the facility gap. Infrastructure Weekly is a television package designed to bring you latest information on hundreds of development projects going on in various sectors all over the nation. There is no state in Nigeria today where you will not see our contractors busy at work. Power generation, rural electrification, road rehabilitations, national housing scheme, construction of roads and rail lines across the country, you name it. We are now able to produce 7,000 megawatt of power. That is no longer debatable. Infrastructure Weekly is Nigerians working together for a better Nigeria. So be better informed to take better informed decisions. Watch Infrastructure Weekly, showing on Channel Television, Thursdays 2.30 p.m., NTA Network, Wednesdays 5 p.m., and Core TV News, Fridays at 8 p.m. Infrastructure Weekly, making development known. We hit the home stretch today with a look at development in the housing sector especially the second national housing program which has helped in creating thousands of jobs for artisans throughout the length and breadth of nigeria the program which is expected to be delivered in 33 states in the next few weeks according to many who have worked at site are nigerians in states where they are situated as a game-changing power 
Hidbo leaders commended President Buhari for restoring the hope of people from the southeast to have a world-class mausoleum in remembrance of the frontline pan-Africanist and one of the proponents of the actualization of Nigerian's independence from the colonial masters in 1960. The leaders made this assertion at the Ovala celebration of the traditional ruler of Umeri in Anambra East local government area of Anambra State. The senator representing Anambra Central, Senator Victor Ume said the president should be commended for this feat. President completed the Zik mausoleum. That mausoleum was started so many years ago and it has been abandoned by successive governments. But the government of Buhari provided money, completed it, and it became a magnificent mausoleum. So we thank the president and commend him. Anytime the president does a good thing, we shall commend him. So that mausoleum he completed and uh, uh, commissioned yesterday is a great honor to Zeke of Africa, the first president of Nigeria and the first governor general of Nigeria, a very great Igbo son, Gowele of Onisha. So we thank President Buhari for that. We want you to follow that uh, uh, footstep to do more things for us. Enumerating some of the signature projects in the zone in the last three and a half years under the present administration, including the second Niger Bridge and the ongoing Enugu Onisha Road. Thus, leaders say the president should be applauded. The request that the president should move further to accommodate more Indigo into the cabinet and as well as provide suitable political offices for people from the southeastern part of Nigeria. This, they say, we dose the tension of marginalization in the minds of people from the zone. We want you to follow that uh, uh, footstep to do more things for us. We are happy that some of our roads are receiving attention. The Enugu Onisha Expressway, let him ensure that he completes that road. We will not forget him if he does so. And anytime he does any good thing, we will applaud him. That's what we want. Let him include Ndibo fully in his administration, in making appointments. I don't want anybody to make joke of some appointments that have been made. But he knows what we are saying. Let him give the Igbos full sense of belonging. We are not against Buhari. If he gives us what we are entitled to, we shall support him, we shall uh, 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 praise him, we shall clap for him. We cannot do more than that. Once we are happy, we will not complain. Number one, our roads, southeast road now are working. Niger Bridge, work are going on. Zigmund Jump Center is going on. So I think uh, he's a good man. The economy is okay. But perception people will be talking how the economy is not no 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 no. Let me tell you one one thing I observe as a business social businessman. In election time, any country that going in election time, their currency will be shaking. But naira dollar to naira is stable. So it's a kudos to him. He could remember 2000, 2015 when we are going to election. You see how Naira was. So it's a good thing. So many things the man have is doing. The leaders further pointed out that Indigo have nothing against the president, promising to support him if he continually provides projects and economic policies that will promote the well-being of people from the southeast region, as well as make his government Igbo friendly in appointments and provision of signature projects. Thanks so much for staying tuned. We'll be back next week for another interesting episode of the program. Until then, continue to pay your tax and protect public utilities. I am your regular anchor, Ajibola Humuchikwa. Bye for now. We're going to